Hey everyone, Joel Anson here. Today we're in Nashville, Tennessee, and we are going to Hermitage House, Smorgasbord. So, basically, this place, family owned, house made scratch kitchen, southern food, all you can eat. It's been around for 50 years, so I'm gonna go eat some delicious looking southern food. Can't wait. Love this place down here, love the south, so I'm sure we're gonna get some fried chicken, all this good stuff. They have a lunch buffet, which we're gonna do now. It's only 14 bucks, and there's a uh, like a dinner buffet a couple days a week. That's $18. Apparently they change up the variety of foods all the time, so we'll go see what they have. Just fun. Let's eat some good old southern soul food. Real quick, I want to thank sponsor today's video being Surf Shark Alert. That's right, so Surf Shark Alert, guys, is a program that actively searches the internet for your data. Constantly, whether it be through my bank or through different websites, I'm getting alerts that there could be a potential security breach. That is my passwords, that is my email being actually exposed and potentially being stolen by individuals online. Anywhere you are, your data is constantly being online and you're constantly being used, so you really need to be proactive and ensure that it's not being stolen and used, unfortunately, because one security breach could be really, really, really substantial. And so essentially, you can like put in your email, put in your credit card info, like seriously, it's that that's specific. So it'll send you an alert if it does find something, if it does find your info out the internet. And when I did it, it actually was a password I regularly use. So that was a little scary. So again, I was able to identify and change that password right away. And surprisingly, that breach was actually linked to an online shop that I regularly use. Of course, as a Surfshark product comes with a 30 day money back guarantee. So you have nothing to worry about. Of course, right now you can also get 75% off your first one year subscription. Yes, that is right. Plus three months free using that code on screen, guys. That is surfshark.deals forward slash Joel Hansen. I'll set a link down in the description below. It also includes a free VPN. So you're actually getting like two services in one. Seriously, great opportunity to be actively protecting your info and ensuring that it is not being leaked elsewhere. So guys, seriously, save yourself, save your info, save the hassle and be proactive. Save your data, guys. Check out that link down below right now, guys. Let's stay safe and let's get the rest of the video. All right, everyone, so first round, we got some uh, different salads and then we have catfish, Fried chicken, meatloaf, Coke, or uh, not Coke, pulled pork and beans. Looks great. Probably start with these salads. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're here having some soul food, some real soul food. That's right guys, we're talking some authentic, homemade, scratch kitchen soul food. And I tell you what, everything was freaking awesome. So I started off with my salads, you know I'm a big vegetable lover guys. Uh, in this case we're going for their uh, kind of vegetable salads which were all house made. They had a carrot salad, uh, looked like a carrot slaw which was absolutely delicious. Um, another place I've often had carrot slaw would be the Golden Corral but this was much better. Um, they then had a lovely kind of cucumber salad they made. They also had a lovely green bean salad. And so all these salads, they're like pickled vegetables, essentially. So they're either like cooked vegetables or raw vegetables, um, which had been pickled or at least put in some sort of a dressing, um, like a very vinegarish dressing, but the flavors were great. It just was like, it was so fresh. The cucumber salad was crisp and crunchy and it was, it was honestly, it was just beautiful. Try some catfish. Mmm. Mmm. Crunchy. Nice seasoning. A little bit of sweetness. That's damn good. Fried chicken. Incredibly juicy. It's steam in there. Love the seasoning on it. It definitely has a different flavor than like a lot of fried chickens. It has a very deep flavor. I almost get like a, almost like a gravy-ish flavor from some of the breading. Very delicious though. Unique flavor. Mm. 
And that was kind of a good way to describe the fried chicken. The fried chicken, it had like, it was almost like if this makes sense, like when you go to somewhere like let's say KFC or like a lot of fried chicken places, it seems like the fried chicken is, its I'd say it's kind of like battered and then it's dipped in like a crumbly flour or it's dipped in some kind of crumbly aspect. So the batter seems to be kind of in like different little separate pieces. But in this case, the batter was all like one piece. So it's almost just like a flour wash and then fried. But however they did it, it made it a very dark, kind of deep, almost gravy tasting uh, fried chicken, which was pretty cool. Um, the meatloaf here I'm trying was very nice as well. I'm trying to describe the flavor. I almost got like a, I don't want to say taco flavor, but something, and it's good. Then had some of their green beans, which I like the way they do their southern green beans down here. Um, like they're generally very flavored. Um, they all have like pork or bacon in them, so they taste delicious. I mean, they're definitely when you're adding bacon into your green beans, it's not quite calorie free or whatever, but uh, very, very tasty. And then the pulled pork, you know, the pulled pork was actually really, really good. I don't want to say, you know, like I definitely didn't have. I don't, not to be rude, but I didn't have high expectations for it, but the pulled pork was really nice. It was smoky, it had a nice sweetness with the sauce, and really it was very, very solid. All right, second round, we have a cottage cheese with marshmallows and pecans, which sounds really unique, but very delicious. I got some more of the pickled uh, cucumber tomato salad, the pickled um, green bean salad, love both those. Then I got some more catfish, I got some more fried chicken, some green beans, and then the uh, the pork as well, all delicious. Thanks so much. So for this round, I got many of the items that I previously really liked, and I, like that's kind of what I do, guys. I find when you go to a buffet, you find items you like, and generally you stick to them, and you, you get your money's worth, you get your true enjoyment out of them. But the nice thing about a buffet is that it also allows you to try other options, or a smorgasbord, as they call it here today. Hence, you know, I decided to grab an item which was heavily recommended, such as the cottage cheese with marshmallows and pecans. So first off, before we try it, I don't know if that's a thing. I've never heard of a thing. Like, if you've ever seen that anywhere else, but this place please let me know in the comments down below because I have never ever ever heard of any kind of a dish like that or of any variety like I've never heard of a beefed up candied sweetened cottage cheese so I thought that was super unique please let me know down below um, but yeah obviously started off with my little pickled salads which were exceptional again try this cottage cheese with pecans and marshmallows which sounds very unique and apparently this is a very popular dish here which is unique to them Okay, it's almost like dessert. Mm. It gives a really like really unique sweetness. It's almost yogurty. The marshmallows are completely soft. There's no like chewy texture to them. I think there's a little, maybe like a pineapple or something else in there too. Would recommend. Very unique. More of that delicious looking catfish. Really a bit enjoying the catfish down here in the south. It's not a thing that I'm, you know, familiar with really, but we're up in Canada. But needless to say, I really loved the cottage cheese. That was a great dish. Like, I could eat way too much of that stuff. Um, coming back to some of the catfish, I mean, it was nice and fresh. That was kind of the nice thing about the smorgasbord. Um, you know, the fried chicken was coming out regularly. The catfish was coming out regularly, especially as it got busier. And it got busier kind of as we uh, as we were there and the kind of time went on. Um, again, back to the fried chicken. The fried chicken was really good. Um, I tried both the white meat and the dark meat. I'm going to comment on that here in just a moment. Um, you know, and but both were solid. Like I said, just a v I've never had a batter like that before. I don't know how to describe it, but a very like brown, um, like brown tasting batter. Again, not like uh, it was it was it was delicious, but it was just not like hmm, how do I put it? It wasn't like 
crumbly, but just like a really nice dark batter. But again, very unique. I've never had fried chicken like that before. Again, if that's something you're used to, if you're familiar with what I'm talking about, let me know down below, guys, because this was kind of new territory for me. But nonetheless, very delicious, just as the catfish. Catfish was nice and crumbly, and that was delicious too. Those were the thighs. And like I said, the, the batter has like a darker gravy, like a darker flavor to it. And so I found with the dark meat, it was, it's very, is it different taste than with the white meat? Very interesting. And by different, I guess I could say quite intense, like the dark meat and the dark tasting batter, pretty intense flavor. Um, not bad, not bad at all, but just very intense. Just, it was really unique. Um, but again, ch chicken was juicy and that was delicious, both in the white and the dark variety. Um, again, I got my Louisiana hot sauce there. Again, there seemed to be a misconception on the internet that I don't like spicy food, and it's not true. I love spicy food. I love spice, guys. I love sauces. I love hot sauces. That's why I love ketchup. I love barbecue sauces. Um, but I just like a limited amount of spice. Like the Louisiana style hot sauce is my favorite style of hot sauce. Um, I like it, you know, in moderation when I'm eating casually, but I don't like ghost peppers. I don't like you know anything like that like it's just too much like that's just too much and and if it's a big quantity challenge um having it spicy can really also uh, add a level of difficulty and a little of a level of discomfort um but again guys back to on these meats pulled pork still great again like i said smoky but they had the nice barbecue sauce on it making it sweet very 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 moist had a good bit of fat to it exceptionally juicy very well pulled as well um, it would be a really good pulled pork if you wanted to make a sandwich with it if you're a big pulled pork sandwich person you could throw some coleslaw on there uh, like a nice soft bun it would be absolutely oh my gosh just mm, just feel your mouth getting you know just feel your mouth watering you think about that that soft warm sweet savory pulled pork that crunch of that coleslaw oh just mm, just does things next plate more of my bean salad more of my cucumber salad from fried chicken some uh, meatloaf and some pulled pork and then they have more uh, fresh fried chicken coming so we'll get some more of that so while the selection at the Hermitage House wasn't huge, you know, I basically when I showed you um, the little array earlier, you got to see all the hot items and they had the salad bar, which featured kind of a make your own salad section with, you know, like your lettuce, your, uh, let's say tomatoes, your peppers, your carrots, etc. Um, then they had kind of their mixed salad section, which had probably about five salads. And I've had, you know, regularly about two or three of them being like the bean salad, the cucumber salad. I had the carrot slaw, um, the coleslaw. Um, you know, then they had the little dessert section, which is going to be coming our way. Um, but like it was, you know, for, and I know they do the dinner buffet a couple times a week, which offers at least another, another couple items. I think maybe even some, you know, maybe more, uh, seemingly expensive or premium items coming with a little bit of higher cost but I mean for $14 at a lunch price um, it definitely offers a pretty good variety um, I mean you're not going to get I'd say sick of the items again I mean I've had the meat uh, the, the meatloaf which was great guys we've had the fried chicken repeatedly which was great um, they had the pulled pork um, and that they change all the time like all the menu items uh, change so like let's say they had pulled pork today maybe they'd have ribs another day um, I think there's some staples like I think the fried chicken and catfish maybe is a staple but even those could vary I could stand mistaken um, and I know like again they had a number of different bean dishes which I haven't really gotten to yet but I will get into a little bit more of my pickle salad have some bean salad we have some more of the cottage cheese have some coleslaw then I tried some of their pork and beans got some fried okra got some corn and some more pork so of course I had to top off with that pulled pork guys like I said I was enjoying it but I also had to try some of the other kind of southern favorites or southern items the fried okra they're solid fried okra is I think pretty standard it's hard to go wrong um, I tried the pork and beans as that's a pretty again very traditional kind of southern thing um, nice rich uh, taste the uh, beans were very soft the pork was savory in it and uh, really no complaints again a pork and beans that was house made guys you can't beat that like nothing came out of a can here nothing was pre-made this whole everything every like it was just and that made a big difference guys when everything's being made out of a kitchen you're talking like pure, you know if there if, if something needs flavor when it's a real kitchen guys you're talking like sugar salt butter lard like you're talking real 
you know, real flavors, real spices. Um, the cream corn was good as well. They also had a macaroni and cheese up at the, uh, like available. I did not have any. I'm just not a big macaroni and cheese person, but I'm sure it was also very, very, very rich. I'm sure it was also very, very, very savory, just like the cream corn was the, uh, you know, like everything. Like I said, if something needed flavor, it was rich, it was savory. And I mean, hey, while it's maybe not calorie free, it definitely makes up for that aspect in the flavor, guys. So yeah, like I said, to this point, absolutely no complaints. Um, all the uh, real items, the solid food items are tasting great. All right, got a little salad, some more coleslaw, some more pulled pork, and of course, some fried chicken, which is smoking hot. So I mentioned it earlier, they had kind of like a make your own salad section and this time I decided to take advantage of it. So I had just, you know, some kind of standard lettuce um, with some uh, tomatoes. I love little cherry tomatoes. I could eat way too many of those. Some coleslaw as well. And of course that bean salad, which I loved guys, that cucumber salad, that bean salad was exceptional. Like really some of the best I've had. It's definitely an item I always like to have when they're available, whether it be a buffet or I'm, you know, eating out somewhere. Well. I guess not eating out somewhere. I, I, I'll be honest, like the only place I guess I really see them is probably at a buffet. Um, and I always have them though, and I always try them. And again, exceptional guys. The cucumber salad here was so delicious. Like if I was in the area, I would just go buy that. Like I'd be like, what's the recipe? Or can I buy this canned? How much? And give me two gallons of it. Um, again, pulled pork guys, solid as always. And that fresh fried chicken coming out. That fresh fried chicken, oh, I mean, but it was, it was, it was fresh all along. But this one I knew was going to be exceptionally fresh because they literally just dropped him out of the fryer as I was walking up to the buffet table. It literally started gushing juice. And when you can shake off your fried chicken, you know it's juicy as anything. And again, very good tasting. But again, I've, like I said, guys, I've never had such a dark tasting fried chicken. It was very unique. Um, and I liked it. It was just, like I said, I've just never had anything like it. Um, but yeah, so pretty much at this point, I was pretty feeling, feeling pretty good about the, we'll call the solid items. Um, I mean, we had however many number of plates at this point. So I figured we'd, after, after this, probably start heading towards a little bit of dessert. Um, but yeah, no, everything I had at the uh, table here, everything I really enjoyed. I'd say definitely my favorites were the pulled pork. Um, the fried chicken was really good as well. But uh, then when it came to the salads, definitely that cucumber salad and the bean salad, the pickled ones were just like 10 out of 10. All right, dessert time. We have a homemade cherry cobbler. We then have some of their homemade apple fritters. I don't know if you see the blown. And then we have some of their strawberry shortcake. And yeah, looks delicious. So additionally for dessert, which I forgot to mention, is they also had um, a couple like prepackaged items, like they had moon pies also up there, um, which were pretty unique. Then they also had an ice cream section, like, and all the ice creams were actually prepackaged as well. So like, you get the little cups of ice cream, you could get like an ice cream sandwich, which I thought was pretty cool. I went with the house-made cherry cobbler, which was very, very nice. Um, they were kind of a, hmm, how do I put this? It was definitely a little bit more of a tartar cherry that was used in it. And so it was sweetened with the sugar to bring it up to a sweetness. Um, but it was not overly sweet and definitely didn't taste like it came out of a can or anything. Trying the strawberry shortcake. Strawberry shortcake was, was solid. I like it. I mean, basically it's angel food cake or cake with strawberries and whipped cream. And they made house made apple fritters, which are essentially donuts. I would just call them donuts, like a donut hole or, you know, donut round, arguably. Some people in Canada might call it a Timbit, but just like the little, um, little donut holes, essentially house made, deep fried, but apple cinnamon flavor and with powdered sugar, it was good. Some more cherry cobbler because it's delicious. Another fritter. We only had one, and then so I got some moon pies. So as I mentioned, I had the moon pies. I had to grab one just for fun. Um, I've had moon pies before. Um, there's a variety of different names and kind of you know variants, whether it be a knockoff brand, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But moon pies, if you're not familiar, it's kind of like a marshmallow e with a little thin layer of cakey thing covered in chocolate. Um, it's solid. It's it's like not bad. I mean, it's a packaged dessert, right? Like, you know, what can you expect? Um, but again, those uh, donut holes or the apple fritters that they were calling them were very, very nice. I enjoyed those a lot. Um, I was waiting for them to make a couple more. And then when it came to, like I said, the uh, cherry cobbler, 
it was very unique. I loved the sauce, like the sauce, the runny aspect of it. Um, again, with those cherries, just very nice way, kind of sweet and tangy, not overly sweet. Uh, it was a very solid, it was actually my first time having a cherry cobbler, and I think it set the, the standard pretty, pretty high. Um, like I said, whenever I hear cherry pie or cherry dessert, I'm very skeptical, because I always think of like the canned cherries, which I just don't like, that ch cherry syrup, and this was definitely not that. This was great. So overall, guys, Hermitage House, 10 out of 10 recommend. So if you're ever in the area, Hermitage House, stop on by, only $14, I think it was worth it, and uh, have a lovely day. And the Grand Ole Opry House here in Nashville, Tennessee. Grand Ole Opry. So let's show you around. Looks pretty cool. Big guitars and stuff. Grand Ole Opry. Got some nice little chairs and seating. It's kind of like a garden actually, which I didn't expect. There's the famous doors. So we're working our way up there, but yeah, it's very, uh, very well kept. Very nice around here. And this is what I look like in front of the Grand Ole Opry. And here is the famous Grand Ole Opry house entryway doors. These big, iconic wooden doors. And what I would say is probably the most iconic theater house in America. And apparently maybe they're open, so maybe I'll see if we can go inside, but that's kind of what it looks like in there. Cool. This big banner. It's pretty recent. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. Also, I want you to join the Happy Healthy Hungry Family. That's right, guys. Hit that subscribe button right there. Hit that little thing that looks like my face. And then I picked two videos out specifically for you. That's right. I picked out two videos just for you. I know you're going to like them. So real quick, hit one of these right here. This video is going to go away in a couple seconds. So please hit them. Three, two, one. Click one. Let's go.